The motorless carbonator is set up in a very simple, straightforward way. This is a five pound CO2 tank. You're not limited to a five pound tank, but that's what most of our uh, street vendors, farmers market people are using. It's probably a good idea to get two of them so you always have a backup if business is really good. This is a high pressure CO2 regulator set up with a quarter barbed shutoff. That is key that it has the shutoff so you can turn it on and off quickly when you're switching tanks or on the move. So the high pressure CO2 goes into a gas ball lock disconnect. This is your three gallon motorless carbonator that we build with a stem and carbonating stone inside. And then this is your liquid out uh, black ball lock disconnect connected to a high pressure squeeze valve for the seltzer. This is the fastest way to pour uh, when you're selling a lot of seltzer. When you get your carbonator kit, it's going to come in this box. Everything's included and it's most of the parts have already been put together. Your job is just going to be to connect everything. So what you get in the box is a CO2 tank, motorless carbonator, wrench for the CO2 tank and the regulator, and it includes a regulator all hooked up to the ball lock disconnect, ready to go. You're just going to attach that with the wrench I just put down. And then on the liquid side, already hooked up, is the liquid disconnect and the squeeze valve, high pressure plastic squeeze valve. Uh, sometimes we ship the tanks with a little bit of gas in so they don't get damaged in shipping. So always pull the relief uh, pin to alleviate the gas before opening up the hatch. To open up the lid on the uh, motorless carbonator, all you got to do is pull this latch back towards the handle and then occasionally give it just a little shot with the heel of your hand and out comes the, uh, the lid. There's the tank. We recommend mild, warm, soapy water, a little rinse before using it. Just rinse it out with mild, warm, soapy water a couple of times, then fresh water, and you're good to go. To connect a CO2 regulator to a CO2 tank, make sure that you use a CO2 washer. This will come in the kit. Just put it right in here, push it in a little bit. Then in your kit, you'll also have a CO2 uh, wrench. Just put that on there, and then thread it up. Use the wrench nice and tight. Now we're going to connect the gas to the gas in post on the motorless carbonator. All you do is pull up like that. Now we're going to connect the handheld dispenser to the output of the motorless carbonator. Same idea, pull it up forward, push it down till it clicks, and now you're connected. Now I'm going to show you how to fill it up, gas it, and pour a nice glass of ice cold seltzer. You always, uh, especially you farmer market salespeople, want to put these in a tub of ice. The colder the seltzer, the better. The colder the water you start with, the better. If you're using apple juice or any other kind of beverage, experiment before the, before the market and try it the way you want. You may want to mix a little water in, but there's a bunch of videos that we've been showing you on how to mix certain drinks. So, first thing now we're going to fill it up with uh, cold water. As you always want to vent, the tank before you fill it, then just pull the, the latch, give it a little hit with your the heel of your hand. We got some cold water here. Our tank is now full. This is a three gallon. We also have the five gallon and for special order, it's taken us about a week to ten days to build them, a ten gallon tank for the high volume uh, stores or farmers markets. So this one right here is the three. 3, 5, and 10. So now it's full with cold, ice cold water. Now we put the lid on, everything's on tight. Now we're going to go to the gas and apply the pressure. The pressure should be about 60 to 80 psi, depending on how carbonated you like it. Most of our clients are pouring it about 80 psi. Turn the gas on. Here, the valve is on, and the shutoff. 
Beautiful seltzer being made right now. How long did that take? 10, 15, 20 seconds. You now have carbonated seltzer ready to pour. Just pull the trigger. On the squeeze valve, we've had a couple of phone calls. Uh, sometimes the high pressure dispenser, people are calling saying it doesn't work, it, nothing comes out. The reason that's the case is this is a set screw that will adjust the flow that comes out of here. So if for some reason we've shipped it to you and we forgot to open it up for you, just take a regular flathead screwdriver and give it a couple of turns and now it's ready to go. So this is an adjustment screw for the flow. You can set this at the desired flow that you like. On your CO2 regulator, this gauge at 12 o'clock is what you are pushing out the gas at. This gauge at 9 o'clock is reading how much gas is in the tank. So to turn a tank on, you just turn this. You saw the gauges go up. This shows that the tank is full. And now, and this one's showing that the pressure that the regulator is going to allow the gas to come out is at 20 PSI. 20 PSI for seltzer is nowhere good enough. So we have to adjust this up to, I like my seltzer, at about 80, 85, which is right there. To adjust a regulator, you pull this out and then start turning. As the pressure increases, just take a look. Again, for our Kegman seltzer systems, we recommend about 80 to 80, 85 PSI. There you go. And then the beauty of these regulators is you just push it in and it's locked. We're glad you're watching kegman.net.